So, let me tell you about something you will see from time to time. A hole in the enemy draft. And in the case of this match, we're talking about Troll and Tinker Pick. I'm certain some of the viewers have already figured out the case even before I started the commentary. And for everyone else, here's the deal. Tinker, by nature, will want to farm both Blink and Travels before he can truly be active in teamfights. Regardless whether he had a good lane or a bad lane, Tinker will, most of the time, remain in his jungle for the entirety of the early game. Now, how does Troll fit into this equation? If he manages to crush his lane, then he can start collecting towers with the rest of his team. In that case, Troll sort of assumes playmaking mid-roll, while Tinker pretends to be a carry for a dozen or so minutes. And that would be the correct way to salvage the draft. However, in most cases, the carry shouldn't outright dominate his lane, and should he come even in the lane or lose it, he will eventually retreat to jungle to finish his first item. Same with any enemy mid that outright lost his lane or is no longer comfortable with being there. And here's where the draft problem becomes apparent. There are two heroes that want to farm jungle camps and not enough jungle camps. And here is where you as a support come in. If you can't notice two greedy cores anywhere on the map, they are most certainly squeezing their jungle dry. And here's how you can abuse this situation into a slow but certain victory. No longer do you babysit lanes, no longer do you hang behind your cores. Invading and controlling the enemy jungle becomes your sole purpose. It doesn't matter if the enemy is somewhat strong, as long as jungle is being used, it creates a 4 vs 5 or 3 vs 5 scenario, where your own cores can threaten buildings, making it awkward for the enemy to fight, because there's only so much things they can pay attention to at once. So, in that case, what's the plan? Grab as many sentries as you can, ignore your own itemization for a while, try to pin your other support or a playmaking mid to come with you, and just hang around their jungle, don't even need to hit things. As long as you sit there, as long as they know you're there, they lose farm. Given some breathing room, use your sentries to divert existing vision, dismantle their sentries and block some camps. Don't outright force fights, just kite them and make them waste their time chasing you. Each minute they have to pool their resources reclaiming the jungle is each minute your own cores farm uninterrupted, widening the network gap as time passes. Eventually, towers fall, outposts are claimed, Roshan slain, and our little mid-game cat and mouse chase game brings us closer to a victory. So, to sum up this entire match into a sentence, if the enemy is greedy, claim their jungle and enjoy free MMR. This concludes today's topic. Thank you for watching. Good luck.
said I was